it's princess back with another how-to video I'm so sorry for getting this video a little late um, I know they have been doing some updates on mixer so the home page and everything looks a little different so today we're gonna do another how to save your past broadcast um, onto mixer so right now this is the mixer home page um, we are going to start off by learning how to save your past broadcast so we're going to click onto your profile picture, whether that be your blue robot default or your already customized picture. So you're going to click that and then you're going to click broadcast dashboard. Then there, another page is going to open up that looks like this. And you're going to see a bunch of um, options here. Some of them may not be available to you because I am a mixer partner. So I have a few more tabs than um, other people would have um, here. We're going to just stay on the actual page that's right there. So if you want to keep your videos of when you're actually streaming, that way you can look at them and download them, maybe possibly post them onto YouTube. Um, you can actually scroll down here into the preference. So you have these little checkers here. There's one right underneath that says, keep recording of my past streams. So you're gonna make sure that the ticker is blue blue means it's on and activated if you don't want to keep your past streams make sure this is not blue that way you're not recording any of your past broadcasts so we're going to put this on for the tutorial purpose so we're going to keep our past broadcasts here and then another option if you would like your past broadcast to, to stream onto your channel as soon as someone goes onto your page um, you will actually click this checker here. So I'm going to show you really quick on my channel. I do not have it activated. So when you go onto my channel, this is exactly what you will see. My customized image that I have set onto my profile picture. That's it. So if we activate autoplay, the most recent stream while I'm offline, and then we save them, we have to save the options or else they're not going to work. And that's going to be all the way at the bottom of the screen here. So we're going to go back to my profile picture. May take a little bit. Let me refresh it again. Yep, there it goes. So now you see one of my past broadcasts is actually playing right now. So I could actually skip through it and you could see, you know, here I was. All right. So I don't want that activated. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to save that here. All right, so now that we have activated past streams, now we want to actually save them. So we're gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna go back to the Mixer homepage, just so you guys know, I'm showing this to everyone. Maybe people have it already activated, but I just wanna show how to get to it from the beginning. So on the Mixer homepage, click your profile picture once again, go to broadcast dashboard, and then here we're gonna go to the third option, past streams. So here you will see a history of all your past broadcasts. Now, obviously if you're watching this video and you haven't broadcasted since the last minute or two of this video, then obviously you're not gonna have anything here. You actually have to stream and it'll save and then it'll pop up here. So I promise you it will work if you have everything saved. It's most important. So here you can actually click the download button and this will pop up and then somewhere on your URL browser you should see that the source is, uh, I will move this over here so you can see here, source is being downloaded currently. Um, so that will download as an mp4, my computer automatically starts playing it, sorry about that. Um, so there's how to download and save your past broadcast. Um, you can also delete your broadcast. So I'm actually going to delete this because I don't really care for it. So I'm going to just click onto these little dots on each, whatever video you want to delete, you can just click onto it, the three dots, and then click delete. And then it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete this recording? And you're going to say, yeah, hello. So you're going to click delete recordings. So shortly there, it disappeared. It's gone. Um, another thing you can also do is rename. So here I have this title, Hey Zod, Spite Me. 
So I'm going to click the three dots again here on the actual video that I want to rename. And I'm going to click rename. And now I can say this is fun. And then save. And then now you see it's a completely different title. Now I don't really care to have this title, so I'm going to put this uh, back to what it was before. Okay, and then we're going to save. So that's how you do it. That is how you download your past videos. That's how you activate your Mixer channel to save your past streams. This is how you rename your past streams and how you delete your past streams. If you have any other questions, please feel free to message and comment below. Um, I am so sorry I didn't get this video out sooner. I know there's been like a crazy amount of updates, so I'm probably going to have to update like every single one of my how-to tutorials. But this seems to be the most popular one, so please drop a like again, drop a comment again, because you guys are so amazing. I appreciate all your support, and make sure you drop a subscribe. Thank you! Thank you.